In the shadows of the sprawling Roman Empire, a story of faith, devotion, and discovery unfolds. It begins in Drepanum, a modest town in Asia Minor, where a young woman named Helena was born into poverty and humility. But her destiny was intertwined with the empire's greatness. Helena's life took a dramatic turn when she married Constantius Chlorus. Together, they had a son, Constantine, who would grow to become one of the most revered emperors of Rome. Tragedy struck when political ambition led Constantius to divorce Helena. But her son's unwavering love and loyalty would never wane. Upon the death of Constantius, Constantine summoned his beloved mother back to the court. Her honor restored, she was bestowed with the title of Augusta, an empress in her own right. Through her son's influence, Helena's heart was drawn to Christianity, and she embarked on a spiritual journey. With the imperial treasury at her command, Helena embarked on a pilgrimage to the holy places in the Middle East. Her devotion led to the construction of sacred churches, including the Church of the Nativity in Bethlehem and the Church of Eleona on the Mount of Olives. In Jerusalem, Helena's fervor led her to excavate a site overshadowed by a temple to Venus. Her faith guided her to the discovery of three crosses. Through a miraculous revelation, she identified the true cross on which Jesus Christ was crucified. At this sacred site, the Church of the Holy Sepulchre arose. The nails of the crucifixion, fragments of the Holy Cross, and relics tied to Jesus' life were among Helena's discoveries. When she returned to Rome, these sacred artifacts found a home in what is now the Basilica of the Holy Cross in Jerusalem. Helena's legacy is not merely in relics but in her acts of charity. Helping the poor, supporting communities, and enriching churches, she lived as if a follower of Jesus from birth. She died in 330, her son at her side, her sarcophagus now in the Pio Clementine Vatican Museum. Saint Helena, the patron saint of new discoveries, left an indelible mark on Christianity. Her faith, resilience, and humility inspire us to seek the divine in the ordinary. Her feast day on August 18 reminds us that the path to spiritual wealth often begins in the most humble of places. Saint Helena, pray for us.